Drum rudiments have been around long before the drum set was even an instrument. So the question I get from all of my students about rudiments are, which ones do I need to know? Here they are, the five drum rudiments that I think every drum set player needs to know. The first one is the single stroke roll. It's very simple, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's it, we can play it slow, we can play it fast. The second rudiment that I think every drum set player needs to know is the double stroke roll. That is right, right, left, left. All right, so we got singles, we got doubles. The third one is the paradiddle. The paradiddle is just a combination of singles and doubles. It's what I call a hand-to-hand -hand rudiment. So in other words, if it starts on the right hand, the next time you play it, it starts on the left hand. The sticking is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And traditionally, there's an accent on the first note of the rudiment. The thing about these five rudiments is most of the other rudiments are built off of these rudiments and they incorporate them in there. So with the single stroke roll, you also have the single stroke four, uh, you have the single stroke seven, double stroke roll, you have the five stroke roll, six stroke roll, seven stroke roll, that's nine, 10, all the numbered rolls. Uh, with the paradiddle, we have double paradiddle, triple paradiddle, paradiddle, diddle. And so, and really that's a mixture of singles and doubles. The fourth rudiment that I think every drum set player needs to know is a flam. The flam can be a little bit confusing if you're just starting out playing. Uh, it consists of two notes, but they're really thought of as one. So a primary note and a grace note, what we call a grace note. And the way I tell my students to think about it is, think about a fishing line. And at the end of that line, if you drop the fishing pole and the, the hook into the water, they would make a sound like this. And that is essentially how we think of a flam. They are two notes that are attached to each other. So they stay the same distance apart. If we speed up, they, they don't get closer together. If we slow down, they don't get farther apart. Here's what a flam sounds like. We can do same hand flams. We can do hand to hand flams. Now, if I speed up, that grace note doesn't get farther away from the primary note. So when I slow down, it doesn't go. Now here's the cool thing about flams. We can open them up so we can play a wider flam or we can close them. A very tight flam would sound like this. Now again, several rudiments are made with a flam. So we have the flam paradiddle, we have flam accents, we have the Swiss Army triplet and flam taps. Uh, it's, it's included in a lot of rudiments. The pat -a -fla, fla also includes the flam. And the fifth rudiment that I think every drum set player needs to know is a drag. It's almost just like a flam, except there are two grace notes instead of one. If you're a drum set player, don't worry about all 40 rudiments when you're first starting out. Learn those five and then get to learning some songs.